And now, wouldn't it be great to take a stroll through the Albright Knox? Well, that's exactly what Courtney did and discovered the new Humble and Human exhibit honoring the late Ralph Wilson Jr. Exploring this exhibit, you're going to see beautiful pieces of art, but you're also going to learn about Ralph Wilson himself. He truly loved art. He was a big fan of Monet and Van Gogh, and he really appreciated Impressionism. But for those tuning in, what is that exactly? So when we think about Impressionism, um, this is a movement that kind of came to be in the late 19th century. It started in Europe and really had its heart in Paris, but it did spread out across uh, other parts of Europe. And there is also American Impressionism that kind of came a little bit later. When we think about Impressionist works, there's a focus on the kind of fleeting moment, on the movement of light. I'm thinking about how light hits things, how it can change over time, over seasons, over the course of a day, um, and really trying to capture that sort of impression of a scene. This is, you know, when we think of Impressionism, it's not so much like uh, photographic realism as it is a sort of sense of a place and a time. And so we see quick brush strokes. Um, we see maybe sort of like, they'll look like daubs of color, and that they give a sense of the place without that kind of hard, hard edge of the picture. Now, Jennifer, you mentioned that you sat down with Mary Wilson. Where do you think this love of Impressionism came from, from Ralph? It's so interesting. You know, she said that he um, saw a Monet one day and just fell in love with it. And this is literally where it came from and just decided, I, I need to have this in my life. And not only does he love Monet, but he truly appreciated Van Gogh as well. And I see we have two gorgeous pieces in front of us. Really do, there's some wonderful pieces. And this one is one of, uh, probably a, a pretty well-known piece that is by Van Gogh. Um, it is a portrait of a, a postman, Postman Roulin. Uh, and he did a number of portraits of this particular postman. He also did portraits of uh, Roulin's wife and their children. So he really liked the idea of kind of capturing all of the, the members of this family. But he met Roulin in a cafe and they became friends and he invited him over to sit for a portrait. Um, but like I said, he probably did about half a dozen portraits of him. Um, this one is one from the Detroit Institute of Arts collection. And some of the things that are really just wonderful about it are the brushwork in that beard is really, really amazing. Uh, on the, when we look at the series of portraits that he did, many of them have very different backgrounds. And this one is really sort of notable for having this kind of flat, um, calm, serene blue in the background. Some of them have these sort of lots of texture and things. Um, but I, I think when we, if you look very closely at the, the brushwork, particularly at the edge of the beard, what you can see is that he painted this very quickly. Uh, because you can see, we talk about um, when we look at, at the painting and the way that it uh, is put down, we look at wet on wet. So you can see from particularly here, uh, where those uh, brush strokes are going into the edge of the beard, it's wet paint that is going into wet paint. And so he completed this very quickly. And from his letters to his brother, he was a, an avid letter writer, and he and his brother Theo wrote back and forth for you know, many, many, many years. And he wrote a letter to his brother saying that he had done a portrait of uh, this postman and he was very taken with him. And uh, that he completed this one in a day. And do we see another Van Gogh over here? We do, there's actually two more. So oh, we have, yeah, we have a, a self-portrait right here that is uh, from the Detroit Institute of Arts collection. Um, it is, you know, he was uh, an avid uh, self-portrait painter. He, there are lots of self-portraits from over the course of his career. Uh, and so this is one that is coming from 1887. Actually, all three of these are right around the same time. The postman is 1888. The self-portrait is 1887. And then the um, image of the old mill, which is a work from the Albright Knox collection, is also from 1888. Okay. Uh, so, I, but his self-portraits are really, um, they, they really have so much of his own character in them. I mean, any self-portrait does, but you really get a sense, not just of how he wanted you to see him, but kind of who he was. Um, in, in the way that he's looking out at you, the way that he has his head turned, you really get a sense of his personality. Jennifer, how long has the exhibit been here for? Um, we opened in February, and we will be uh, open through May 26th.